I don't have enough time to do H. Uh, I just finished filming 917H, and I is, is got a lot of notes, and I know I don't have much time left on the camera here. So what I'm going to do is something different. This one's, um, I was doing a meditation on January 20th at 10.39 p.m., and this is what came up in my meditation. Started writing, it's called Building Blocks of the Universe. And then January 21st, at 10:32 p.m. this is a message that came to me after doing what I call an alien uh, meditation where I listen to alien speech uh, from the NASA signal as well as sulfragal tones and it came up as AX to the power 2 plus R and then 99 over 100 equals velocity field plus momentum equals nuclei I just wrote it down as they said it Vibrate molecules into gas, 10 to the power of 100 speed. Quantum gravitational pull is minus 2400 over 13. Then C distance, C, C to the power of 2, 7 to the power of 10, 44, 71. Leptin spin rotation quotient. M5 to the power of 2 plus Olympian metals ionized to capacity. Watch as the sun's particles rotate evenly to the moon. Then spirals appear in dark matter, causing density to expand. Universal factors apply. MC squared, and I don't know what this means, this line. AX, it's supposed to be just one AX, not two. I was trying to draw it. AX over Y, Z to the power of Y plus A, uh, A times, A times radius of sphere. Path of green. Pythagorean theorem, jet propulsion, travel line of light, black holes are back to back, other side, so you can travel to the other side of the universe. This is where you start, this is A, your black hole A, this is black hole B, they're back to back from each other and they travel in through the two black holes to get to the other side of the universe. The path is green, asteroids belt, in between passages of black holes, jet relativistic caused by pressure from objects passing through only go one at a time. And that's the only message that I got on January 21st, 2012 at 10.43 p.m. That's the idea, girl. So I wrote that down. I don't know what it means. I'll probably type it up and put it in the info section of the YouTube video as well. But I wanted to show you. So I'll just give you a real quick look at the pictures here without reading it out loud. But this is what came up. And that way you can look at the math equations and draw them in yourself. And I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this on the typewriter now that I thought about it. Because I don't know how to do these equations with a typewriter. If you know how, let me know. So this is... That's gas 10 to the power of 100. And that's your gravitational pull minus 2400 divided by 13. See the distance. Uh, C to the power of 2. 7 to the power of 10. That's a 10 there, not a 0. See, there's a 10. And then it's... 4471. Okay. The left and spin rotation quotient is M5 squared plus Olympian lim metals ionized to capacity. Watch as the sun's particles rotate evenly to the moon. Okay. Then spirals appear in dark matter causing density to expand. Universal factors apply. So you have mc squared 
I don't know what this symbol means, this line here. And this is just one, forget this AX. It's AX over Y. So this one, just don't even look at that one. So Z to the power of Y plus A, and this is supposed to be a times sign. I didn't want you to think it was an X, so I put times. The radius of sphere. Okay. And that's supposed to be Pythagorean. I think there's supposed to be an A there. Pythagorean theorem. And then jet propulsion. It shows you what it looks like. You have to use this Pythagorean front. They want you to use the Pythagorean theorem to get your jet propulsion. From there to there. Uh, you want to travel the line of the light. So the speed of light. Out of the jet propulsions out of the black hole, there's a line of light that goes from there, and it says to travel along this line, line of light that's coming from the black hole. And the black holes are back to back. So you've got one black hole here, and you got another one on the other side of it. And that's how they get so quickly from one side of the universe to the other. That's their way of quantum travel. Instead of going around the whole orbit of each planet, they go through these black holes. And you have to start from one and then go into the other one. And then the final message is the path is green asteroids belt. I don't know what that means. But wherever there's green, there's an asteroid belt there in between the passages of the black holes. So there's, there's asteroid belts in between the black holes. The jet relativistic is caused by pressure from objects passing through it. So if so basically there's going to be a lot of debris if you go through one of these black holes so you only they want you to go only one at a time. So one spaceship at a time can go through the black holes at a time. The other one will get knocked out if it falls in behind it. So if you take a team of two ships, you only want one to go through one at a time. And this was the symbol that came up. I put the happy face, but this it's like a round circle thing. I actually saw that on an ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. It was in that movie, I think called The Final Hour. Not The Final Hour, it was something. It was a movie that I watched this week. I did a movie uh, review about it. And it was about this round golden thing that this guy put in. Um, and it was talking about, oh, it's called the Stonehenge storm or something like that. It was about Stonehenge and it was about these aliens activating the power in the Stonehenge. And the signal went all the way from one city over to the Stonehenge in London and then it started destroying all the pyramids all over the world and stuff. And it was uh, traveling along the grid lines on Earth. So, But that's the symbol. That's um, the symbol for this. Whoever sent this message, that's their symbol there. And I'm not sure if I can find it or not. Um... Stonehenge, let me see if I can do a Google search to find it. Stone, Stonehenge, it was Stonehenge Storm or something. Stonehenge Storm movie. Um, uh, Stonehenge Apocalypse, that's what it is. You want to watch that movie, 2000 Tournaments on TV. When a group of archaeologists dig up a human skeleton near the historical mummy of Stonehenge, an ancient piece of machinery hidden beneath the bedrock is discovered and it actually triggered the mechanism and started a chain of events that may well in the world as we know it. And we're